No, I'm just kidding. This is Houston, and Houston doesn't have a lot of valued players on transfer market. They're all, like, question marks or whatever. Oh, I found one. So I went with Kika Struna. Wow. The center back. For the only reason, he's only been there a year, played 29 games, kept two clean sheets, finished six to lap in the league, cost 550K, and has not done anything to make that back line better this year, as we've seen already. So if I had more money data, or this was before I started realizing that I should look more into big names versus money, I'm sure I could go in and look right now and find a, a DP. Because I, I know when I was doing research, there was a name that was in the back of my head. I could not pick out. And I don't know why. But Adam, go ahead and tell me who I forgot, because I know who it is. Is it Matthias Vera? No. Okay, because they brought him in for almost a million, and he's done nothing. Zero goals in 30 games as a midfielder. I had to look him up on MLS Fantasy to see whether he was actually even on the team anymore. Uh, update, he's a 5.8 million midfielder that I had never even, like, looked at. Like, I picked some Houston midfielders for Fantasy because they have some decent ones. Never even recognized that he was there. How many assists does he have? Not many that I could find. Interesting. Because I always thought that he was a much better player than... Yeah, that, nothing that I could find. It just made it sound like he was present. I think I think he always played because the team around him was not great. So. True. I just always remember seeing his name and just automatically assume because nobody watches Houston for fun, right? Like, exactly. That's a supporter, so nobody knows who that is. Maybe in the past, past Houston. Yeah, yeah. 2013, people loved watching Houston. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> Connor, what do you got? I have Luis Angel Land Landon. Wow. Uh, that was almost really like well pronounced, and then you hit it with a la. Sorry, go ahead. Anyway, he was at Houston for two years on loan. He was their first ever designated player. He made 16 appearances for them over the two years. 16. He scored two goals and had three assists. I, I don't know about you guys, but I love me a striker that scores one goal every eight games, especially my designated player striker. Um, and he... Barely ever found his way onto the field, mainly because he was either having a bad attitude or he was out of shape. So I don't think there's any other way to con uh, conclude Houston's first DP as anything other than a flop. Interesting. The only reason I won't go with that is because he was a lone player. Mm -hmm. and if, we're, if we're adding lone players as flops, the Red Bulls got like nine of them. So. Oh, yeah. Red Bulls have more I, than nine. <laughs> Red Bulls had a lot. <laughs>